Hello everyone, welcome to the Criterion Connection. I'm Wade. And I'm Joe. And we're here to talk about some Bruce Lee. Uh, from the Bruce Lee Collection, The Greatest Hits, we're doing Enter the Dragon. I was originally thinking about Big Big Boss, but I was like, you know what? Enter the Dragon, it's easily streamable. It's definitely on HBO Max. It's on Amazon Video and all that. Uh, and I at, told Joe, and Joe's like, I have it on DVD! And it was almost a fist fight going on. Uh, how dare you think I don't have it on DVD, apparently. Right, Joe? Um, yeah, I, I believe that is um, the correct response. Yeah, and then we had a They Live fight. It was really awkward. But we're here to talk about Enter the Dragon from 1976, I believe. Um, yeah, it's basically one of the most well-known Bruce Lee movies. Probably the next big, big one is probably, you know... Uh, Game of Death, probably, because of the outfit. Yeah, uh, but this one's like, you know, some iconic things, and I'm going to be really with you, 100% with you. This is the first Bruce Lee movie I've ever watched. Like, this week, watching it was the first Bruce Lee movie I've ever watched. I've seen clips, I've watched Dragon, <laughs> that movie about Bruce Lee, but I never watched a Bruce Lee movie. So this is your first one, this is the first time you ever watched a Bruce Lee. Alright, yes. real quick correction. 1973. Thank you. And, um, what a way to start out, Wade. Yeah. Start uh, out with Enter the Dragon. It's if, like, there's not really a, a bad one in the bunch. It's just, there's all these bootleg ones that they try and sell you, like Game of Death 2. Yeah. Which doesn't really exist <laughs> with Bruce Lee. Like, it's just old edited footage. Because Game of Death would be the last one he would do. Yes. Um, but, yeah, Enter the Dragon, like, this is probably the most influential one on top of it. Um, I mean, there's so, so many iconic, like, kind of scenes. Uh, the setup with the tournament on the island. Yes. It's, like, almost a James Bond movie. But yeah. it's like a direct, uh, you know, ancestor of Mortal Kombat. What I think what throws people off when they jump into Bruce Lee movies is that this isn't really entirely a Bruce Lee movie. Yeah, it uh, it's got it. John Saxon in it. Who rest in peace? He recently passed away. I love John Saxon as a he's he's a great actor. Yeah, he's uh, like James John Saxon is a big is is a great actor but as when it comes to b movie actors he's the man but yeah uh you were saying uh jim kelly is also in this one of the pupils of bruce lee then yeah. went on to have his own career uh i believe he was in black belt jones uh later yeah he, he was he was williams yeah right yeah yeah that was his name. yeah right. it, it, and it's basically it's about those three guys at this tournament yeah fighting yeah. the the um I forgot what the evil guy's name is. Han. Han? It was Han. Han's tournament. Han's, we gotta go to Han's tournament. Han's tournament. Yeah, and, and his hand-picked guys. That had, like, this even influenced Balls of Fury. <laughs> the, the John <laughs> Hader movie. <laughs> oh, not John. Is it John Hader or is it... Um... No, 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 no. I'm getting it mixed up. Um, You're thinking of uh, oh, Dan Fogler? Dan Fogler. You're thinking of Dan Fogler, not, not no. You're thinking that's Blade, that's Blades of Glory. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you have Bruce Lee, whose intentions are personal, um, and then like Williams and Saxon are kind of lured in. You know, um, it it's just a really interesting kind of movie and they all end up siding together realizing they all want to take down this corrupt and immoral han and that's pre and that's pretty much the plot that's like the first that's like the first like f half of the movie is the setup uh but then after that you get into the tournament and it's uh you know it's uh, interesting there's a lot of kind of red herring there's a red herring of the ohara character you think O'Hara's going to be like this, uh, like this badass? He's the right hand man of Han. He's got the scar on his face. He's going to be like a real threat. And then Lee just kicks his ass, 
and that's it for O'Hara. You're like, oh, sh- well, I guess that's it. Well, I mean, O'Hara, um, if it's who I'm remembering, he was in Bloodsport, too. I think he was. Yeah, he's the antagonist in Bloodsport for Jean-Claude Van Damme. But that's the idea is they make O'Hara, they build him up when he's beating up the lower level guys that when Bruce Lee gets to him and just hands him his ass, like you just know, like Bruce Lee is the baddest mf -er here. Yeah. And you're just, oh, and Han is now going to be like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. Well, then there's also the other guy, his other henchman, the guy, I believe, he's the guy that broke the guy's back. Like he held him like a, like a baby and just start crushing him. And then John Saxon's character, you think, oh, he's going to kill John Saxon, right? Because, oh, he's just going to murder him right here. And then John Saxon kicks his ass. And you're like, geez, Han's just running out of freaking uh, right-hand mans. Men. Um, but, yeah, like, there's some cool things. It's got, like, a style to it. Um, I will say I watched the HBO Max version. And before we get into, like, the third act, which is awesome... Uh, I did notice, like, on the HBO Max version, there's, uh, some of the cell, like, some of the sh- scenes, the transfer isn't as great. I've noticed, like, the golf scene with, uh, uh, Saxon, the, the establishing of Saxon's character, um, which I forget his name. It's, like, Reno or something. Roper, that's it. Um, not Reno. It's Roper. Uh, yeah, like... His setup, that whole golf scene, is just way out of focus, I think. It might have just been... It sucks, because that's moving from the 70s, so you think maybe the transfer wasn't that good. Yeah, I think that's one of those things where they lost, like, the original master, and they have to use one of those, like, copies of a copy of a copy. Yeah. It sucks, because there's some shots that are really, like... You know, for, like, 70s movie that's restored, it's pretty great, but then there's some shots that are very iffy. Um, but I will say a third act rules. I think when John Saxon beats that one guy, and then Han's like, screw this, everyone attack. And then basically, like, Saxon, uh, Roper, and uh, Lee are, like, back-to-back, and then, then the people in the Black Gi show up and start fighting. When when everything breaks down and Han yeah. realizes that none of his guys are going to win, it's going to be, you know, either Lee or, Sa- or Saxon or Williams, even. Well, well, well at, th- at this point, Williams is no more. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because there was that whole thing of, like, you're not allowed to leave your room. And then Han beat the crap out of him. Um, and Williams is, you know, just following, like, yeah, whoever. Yeah. And then, yeah, then Han just starts saying, here's my claw hand. <laughs> just, I don't know, claw hand. And just starts attacking Bruce Lee. <clears throat> and then ends, it culminates that great mirror. Well, it starts with the, um... Before the mirror, they're in like that little museum thing. It looks like a, it looks like a museum, and if you notice, there's no uh, there's no music at all. It's just punching and kicking and stuff like that, and scratching. There's a lot of scratching because of Han. But once they're in the mirror, they add that tension, a little like kind of like that little uh, uh, that little music score behind it. It's not overbearing, but it's like enough to give you that little tenseness. Yeah, that scene's awesome. Yeah, uh, another yeah. scene that's referenced. Uh, yeah. just about anywhere. Yeah. Because uh, uh, it, it reminds me of... Uh, what's the movie? I think it's The Lady from Shanghai with Orson Welles. It's an Orson Welles movie from, like, the 50s. And one of the climax scenes is in the fun house on this pier. And it's the, the, the house of mirrors that they're in at the end. And, you know, and... Using that and transplanting it into this, you know, kung fu film, and you just have Bruce Lee that you're following, and you just see reflections, and you're not sure who's real and who isn't. It's 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 one of the cool like famous scenes that that have been put to film in a karate film. And he's a <clears throat> he rules. As someone that's ever watched a Bruce Lee movie, but I've seen clips. Uh, I'm, I was more of like watching Jackie Chan than I was. Jackie with Chan's Bruce in this movie. He is. Yeah, he's like a he's an extra in this one. Oh, that's 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 hysterical. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, if you if you yeah, like you, Jackie you'll Chan, really look for him when you watch it again. <clears throat> you'll really look for him and you'll find him at one point 
he he he. You just got to remember, Jackie Chan used to be a lot like skinnier, like thinner in yeah. both the face and the body. Well, if you liked Jackie Chan's uh, role in Enter the Dragon, you should check out our review on Police Story. Uh, it's somewhere. I'm gonna put it somewhere around here on the screen. Um, so check that out. Uh, cheap plug. Uh, but uh, of course, this movie ends as any eighty as any movie that's like kind of actiony. It ends with a thumbs up. And it made me want to watch the other Bruce Lee movies. I mean, Game of Death is really cool, and I believe that might be the one with Chuck Norris. I could be wrong. There's the, there's a couple of them that have different names too. Like there's like a couple there's like Fist of Fury, and then there's one that's also called Fists of Fury, and it's like it, the hard part is just trying to find a consistent naming. A Bruce Lee movie, so you don't end up watching one you've already seen before. And like they were trying to cash in on the successful ones, so like they make names like really similar. Like there's a Return of the Dragon, I think, but like has nothing to do with this movie. <laughs> well, the Criterion, the Criterion edition. If you're interested in the Bruce this movie, uh, I mean, of course you can probably buy it on DVD. But here, Criterion Connection, we're talking about Criterion releases. Um, they have the collection, the Greatest Hits collection. It's the only way you can get these, I believe. Um, so the movies are Big Boss, Fist of Fury, The Way of the Dragon, Enter the Dragon, and Game of Death. Those are the only ones on this set. But I will say, like, the setup, it, it's kind of... It's one of those things, like, maybe it's because I was expecting, like, more action in the beginning. But there was, there, there was with Williams a little bit, uh, fighting those cops. Uh, but it was like... I don't know. I felt it was it, it kind of dragged a little bit, in in like the first half, I think. Because it, it jumps in and basically gives you everybody's motivation and does like each character, like an equal amount of backstory. Yeah. But you're going in going, this is a Bruce Lee movie. <laughs> yeah. But you don't expect like Jim Kelly and John Saxon to have equal. Yeah. Camera time. But it works. Uh, and especially it, it, when the the most, like, um, effective motivation comes from Bruce Lee's sister being tracked down and beaten up and, and, and all that. Yeah. Like, you're obviously like, okay, I'm on Bruce Lee's side. The other guys are like, well, we're in this tournament. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, and then that, you that, find that, out that there's, like, this woman trafficking thing and all that stuff going on underneath and you're like okay yeah but like bruce lee's sister got like brutalized murder. by these dudes yeah. like bruce <clears throat> lee's gonna murder all of them um i say if you're into like the martial arts movies um especially from the 70s it's a must own yeah like there's no excuse <laughs> <laughs> um other than that, like, I think it's uh, easily something to watch once if you're just, you know, passing through. But I would say it's a it's a must own, personally. Yeah. I mean, it's in my collection. I'm probably gonna buy it again on the Criterion Collection. Um, let alone just the fact that they have the whole set together, because it's been so damn hard for me to track down the the proper ones with decent looking like transfers um i'd say it's a must own it's a buy um even if you're just one of those people that wants to understand what some of these references are <laughs> like yeah enter the dragons just it's so there's so much that people like borrowed from it and parodied and there's and there's a lot of um special features with it so i i might get this collection sadly the Barnes and Noble so ended. I'm in. I'm gonna probably watch the other Bruce Lee movies. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna say bye. I think it's it's you're not gonna be disappointed. It, like you could stream it or whatever and watch it once and all that, but I feel like it's not like maybe you. I don't know if you want to shell out the sixty to a hundred, whatever you whatever you consider, whatever you plan on buying this collection. Um, but definitely like. Yeah, I'm just gonna say based on this movie alone and how the collection, the the set looks, I'd say buy it. Um, 
It's, you're not going to regret it. You're not going to regret. That's my point. You're not going to regret owning it. And it's one of those sets that you can, like, you can buy. You could put one movie in after the other on, like, a big movie night with your friends, pop a bunch of popcorn, and watch Bruce Lee beat the hell out of everybody. Yes. Heck yeah. So that's our thoughts on Enter the Dragon. Uh, let us know in the comment section below what you think about this film. Also, uh, make a suggestion on what the next Bruce Lee movie we're going to do. There's four more to do. So let us know in the comment section below, like, what, you know, so if we do another one, hey, a lot of people want to do Big Boss. A lot of people want to do Way of the Dragon. A lot of people want Game of Death so we can talk about that damn outfit. Well, there's so, also one of the greatest sequences when he has the nunchucks in Game of Death. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing, there's very little that parallels that. I'm just saying, we could talk about that tracksuit that, uh, you know, I, I, if we talk about the tracksuit, Quentin Tarantino will probably watch this. Um, but yeah, let's let us know in the comment section below. Uh, make suggestions for other movies. Should we do Police Story 2, finally? Uh, subscribe, share, and get pumped, because we are, I believe, one episode away from episode 150. We got something cool planned for 150. So until next time, I guess we'll have to check out 149 next week. So, yeah. Till next time, I'm Wade. And I'm still Joe. And we will see you later.